All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I, I don't even know how to start this stream pop properly because I am overwhelmed with emotions. Everyone out there, welcome to our season four grand finale. One of the biggest days for the players, for the MK1 community, and at the same time, one of the biggest days here for the arena because a lot happened the Ermac combat cars just dropped the character looks fantastic but the most important thing ever and i'm literally working towards this for more than four years king of the hill crossplay is here i cannot believe it bulk it is finally happening we can unite the entire mk community in one competitive event and i'm close to tears here i want to be honest guys everyone welcome but go, go ahead and have a have, have a little blob no, no one say, will think ha anything. Having, having a breakdown here in the first <laughs> seconds no bike how do you feel today happy to have you here on the mic today i feel i feel awesome it's another finals week we've yes. you know no one's cracked the leather except for you and i young ripper <laughs> excited as you are about the, the 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 potential for just merging all of the the leagues together in one yeah. homogenous whole harmonious um being that's what we're, i'm super excited about that and as you can tell i've dressed up for the part oh you got to look professional on but finals week you look phenomenal here today and yes, guys, we are here for a reason. Six weeks of qualified has passed once again. And we are here with our last remaining 32 warriors who made it into our grand finale bracket where they compete for that $2,000 prize pool. Thanks to this great community in the back, giving us wings bugs, so to say. Thank you guys so much for making all this possible. We have a lot to talk about tonight because... Today we're going to run it down, top 32, top 16, and please have mercy with us on the YouTube side because there are so many players competing, we cannot cover every single match. So we handpicked a few sets for your daily dose of but MK1 did, and did I, did I see some absolute surprises straight like, away in round one? A lot My is goodness. going on here today. The thing is... A lot of people ask me already, wait, what happened? Kanimani, MK Ravier. Guys, the question is, of course, well deserved, but the answer is obvious. MK Ravier is not here. He's in Japan currently. And that means, <laughs> unfortunately, he cannot play. Kanimani getting a free W in round number one. Evil Carnage so sad. Uvility Moody is, one, is the first on stream set we have today. Rotha Monserrat gonna be on stream. We have Camuget versus the villain. I mean, this entire bracket is filled with Alpha Sweats and all these names you see here, they are here for a reason because they literally worked their way through hell bulk through the last six weeks of qualifiers just to be here today. So I cannot wait to see who is gonna be our season four champion, who is gonna make it on the PlayStation side, who is gonna make it on the PC side for the last time ever before we merge this entire thing into one big competitive list. Everyone in the chat, the moment we've been waiting for. Put your seatbelts on, grab a drink, grab some popcorn, because Bulk and I, we're gonna take you for a ride tonight. Match well, number one. Are we gonna one. take you on a journey? Oh my goodness. Right. It is time for the two Alpha Sweats. Uvility versus Moody, the best Melina in the world, question mark. Let's take a look at this chat prediction. I see 92% on moody right now our pc arena champion of course the community they know how strong he is by they know what this man can do with melina but on the other side young ability you can never count him out indeed and it's gonna be a re relief in fear team kill oh, yes, in sir. round one like we're actually evil for this well i, th I think it's, that it's deserved it's deserved frankly and we, but what, from from our point of view, we get to see the most interesting, intense matchery <laughs> yes. to ever have intensely matched. So here we go. We finally have the sound. What is going to be the matchup? We see Tanya, the character I expected from Uvility. Very, very universal, very decent matchup chart on top of that. So I can understand the decision making behind it. But Moody, Mr. Technical Execution himself, he knows every single gap in the game, by and uh, yes, exactly. And some of these uh, characters have very substantial gaps that you need to fill uh, with your with your offense. 
Speaking of offense, completely sniped out of theirs was Moody by the anti-air. Uvility getting the first significant touch and put it on the gang signs. We block the teleport but get hit by the hat. Hung Lao coming in to finish off the job. Bit of a zoning exchange. But they have to be nervous. I mean, fighting for six weeks straight just to make it a water pickup from Moody. That's what he's known for. He can convert everything. Good jumping. It's More pressure. Lao Bassa. It's been all anti airs. Who is going to be the first player to stay out of the sky? And Moody, he knows that he can play it smart right now. Doesn't have to overcommit. Can play it a little bit lame, but here, the jump kick. No follow up after. Could have been the round. I like the I like the decision to do that. Oh boy! Breaker oh, had boss. To send the cash. Ready? Yes. But now Moody has to be careful. Goes for the hard to blockable, and that overhead is gonna seal Uvility's faith in round number one. Fight. Indeed. Right, shanking girls up. Just gonna sort that back out for you. Right, getting their turn back is Uvility. Can they do anything with the pressure? Went for the throw, jumping straight out. The anime defense from Moody. Right, just swanging away with her big pole there, but n just not able to catch anything. The back dash is from Moody. Do you want to know a fun fact about Moody? But like, the thing is, Moody not only competes on the PlayStation side, he decided, like in the last weeks, to compete on PC as well. And he only played seven sets in the PC League and still qualified for the finals. That's how oh strong goodness. he is. Seven sets oh played, seven Ws, 90% win ratio. Moody trying to speedrun this. That must, that, they must have been some real hot sets, just like the one that's in a. <laughs> Rips secret tab off screen, but no secrets acquired as we get in the we get the finish. Moody taking game one. Bug, we are talking about a literal arena champion right now, and we can literally see why Moody is an arena champion. The way he is able to open up these players, the way he's able to react to certain strings, just like the ball roll right here on reaction. That is super, super impressive, and that's why the people out there say this is one of the best Melinas in the entire world. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to uh, uh, dismiss their their knowledge. Right, we are sticking with the cameos, I believe. Yes, Kung Lao and Chameleon in the background, right there. But Uvility not going for a character switch. We know that Uvility can definitely play like the entire cast on a very high level. Has a pocket raid and has a Johnny. All these top tier characters. But here in this matchup, it seems like he's most comfortable with Tanya. With the extra range afforded by the Umgardi. Yes, sir. Right, try to go for a meaty poke. And we get it, we get the sweepsies. Win that sweepstake. We can see send them back them to the corner. Trying to fight for this corner position. Moody poking out of it. All these overheads every single time. All of that adds up in the end. That was a that was a dirtier, dirtier mix-up. Going into the Kung Lao hat. Kung Lao doesn't have an overhead, so it's there's no actual mix-up there. Just the change of timing, maybe, to to box your opponent. Oh, All right, we hit confirm. Here comes Moody. How much damage can he squeeze out? We know that Melina hurts anywhere on the screen bulk. One touch. Patience is here. That is a punish. Chameleon not doing anything. <laughs> it, we needed Katana in that instance. Chameleon <laughs> got caught in the wrong dress. Good right, punish from poke. Ubility. That little micro back dash worked. Corner position secured. Moody back against the wall. What is he gonna do? Just staying patient, holding that block button. Unlike Bulk every time he plays Combat League. <laughs> How did you know my secrets? <laughs> Good throw. You will if you try. Oh, Moody with wake up buttons. We don't see that often. No follow up, no jump or SU after the jump in. Especially against Tanya, the, the extra range that you're afforded to be able to set up your Okizeme. Um, it, it makes waking up with buttons with Melina not necessarily the wisest thing you could do. Right, immediately in with the Air Sonic, but, Cha but Chameleon coming in to break up the fun. But do you see 
what I see here, our I... wind kick queen herself. While Moody is taking Uvility for a ride, Tigris is saying, you know what? First crossplay season, I got your back, Arena. Thank you so much, Tigris, for the 100 euro donation. The first donation of the day, Bulk. And I cannot tell you guys how much that means to me, to the entire team, to the players, that you guys out there are always here for us. And with such a big announcement like crossplay finally available, we are so hyped. We have so much in the pipeline for the community. I honestly hope that we can make this happen with the community together. So Tigris and everyone out there, thank you so much for the support. And Bike, I cannot wait to see what the future brings. Me neither. Yes, I mean, it's, uh, it's so many exciting things in the pipeline coming down to us. But thank you again, Tigris, and all of the people that support the, the project. Do you wish to be trained or not? Your Highness. The best, the premier place for MK in the world. And I'm so proud that we were able to do this here. But now let's talk about Uvility in trouble. Moody is on sweet point. Uh, result I didn't expect at all, but right now he looks very, very strong. Yes, and, and going, go dressed to go crazy is Moody's Melina. And going crazy with the low pokes here in the corner. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Asked just Moody. That, he's saying I don't need another button. I'm going to beat you just with that freaking poke. It's a good button. <laughs> you got to stop me from doing it, says Moody. Down one and Moody having the upper hand right now completely dominating this Run. set while Uvility is looking for answers. That's right. D down one, the damage was done. Sit down. With all those down fours. In fact, the, the combo is not over yet. We are still going 41% into another reset. Uvility's health bar is completely disappearing. In the name of Almighty Zeus. <laughs> it's just no, Combo no. City from Moody right no, now. Moody. Moody, no. I know it is grand Again. final, Moody. I know there are like $2,000 on the line. <laughs> but what the hell was that anti-air? Did he just go for that standing two anti-air on reaction? I didn't even know that's possible. Well, you, you don't think anything's possible with reactions, do you? No. <laughs> that was just... Oh, that was one of the nastiest anti-airs I've seen in a while. And that is exactly what Moody is known for. And it was, the, it was the casual duck under the projectile and then stand up and place himself just in the perfect spot to get the anti-air. That, that was... Uh, that was pure class so everyone in the chat i know that you guys want to see one particular player i heard he's pretty good with quan chi back i heard he's pretty young i heard Ooh. he is sponsored by the arena and i heard that he's a little shitter yes he is here tonight it is young rotha for all <laughs> the quan chi fans out there of course known for that og rain pick but today i'm pretty sure that this might turn into a quan chi mirror because that is the character monserac picked up lately as well and the question Ooh. is Buck, who is the superior sorcerer indeed who is the sorcerer supreme <laughs> who is going to be the gandalf and who is just going to be left as a as a failure from hogwarts <laughs> <laughs> the players are in the lobby. Our live audience, they are going completely crazy here. So, YouTube site, sorry that Balk and I always address here all that incredible support. But of course, these guys are the reason why we were able to do this in the first place. So, thank you so much, everyone, for the support. I can't find a username, Doctor, so many more. And why is all, my sound always gone here? You know, our production is even struggling because there's so much hype going on in the chat. Rotha is here, and Monster Egg, he doesn't want the mirror match. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to test this Glamdel. Oh, what a whiff punish! Just backing up as much as he can is Young Rotha getting the Puggles game on with Janet. And now you're locked down, locked down harder than 2020. It's being hit by the Sloverhead and everything. Did you just call it Sloverhead? Did yes, I hear that right, Bug? Well, yes, because it, it well, looks I can like see it's the tough. YouTube comments already. <laughs> It looks like it's a million frames. Right, Tuggles waving at nothing but air. And both are just However, playing this... the spacing game. There's the standing four. Nope, you're not allowed to throw projectiles when Quan Chi is on the screen. 
Exactly. How dare you feel like you thought you had a turn. Getting hit by the Tuggles. Janet coming in to gain some space. I love this play from Rotha. Frustrating his opponents into making mistakes. Oh, that was a bit of an overreach from Rotha, though. Put himself in range zero against a Havoc that wants to wake up with the buttons. Right, Janet, go away. Just slapping the girl with the arm. And he's in. His people need him. Vomiting all over. Young Glamdal. Looking for the Earthworm Shim. No bite. And that's going to be a whiff punish, though. That's a clean whiff punish, Rotha. Oh, he is looking more than comfortable. I mean, we are talking about the best crunchy in the entire world. And he is standing on business right now. Exactly. Yes. And with everyone's favorite win pose. Everyone knew an X like that. <laughs> I know that the entire YouTube side is cheering for Rotha at this point. One of the hypest players to watch in the current MK1 meta. And he is delivering, at least for now, 1-0 lead over now You know, we, 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 you know we've um, named Quan Chi Glamdalf after like glam rockers like Kiss and people like that. Did I hear right that Kiss have uh, sold their look so they can't perform made up anymore? Did I get that right? I think you do. They sold it to someone in Sweden, I think. Maybe someone in the chat can let me know. But anyway, we're getting into it. Sector coming in with the smoke. There's no smoke without missiles with this duo. Right. OM Ganesh, 42.758%. But the up block in return from Rotha. Punishing the overhead with 42.049% of their own into the cage, into the portal oh, pressure. Yep, of course, there's the portal pressure. And Monserec going back to the OG main, but he's facing the armor bug. Exactly. You, 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 it does build up the hits. And he only needed one, did Rotha. One hit of the armor. To almost entirely scupper Monserag's plans. And in with the skull. Get away from me. Social distance. Round two. Fight. Right, a call out on the cancels right there. Monserag not not playing safe. Trying to make anything work. Trying to force the agenda here against Glamdal. And that's a start. Now it counts, brother. Rotha over there in the corner, but just poking out of the pressure. And Rotha's situational awareness is so good. What the hell was that? What was that? We've punished. Right, we've got the social distancing portal. Pushing smoke into Quan Chi's sorcerous hands. Right, trying for a slow overhead again. I will also mention, by the way, Rotha has blocked every single smoke overhead on reaction this set so far. I don't want to jinx anything. Like, I think that is honestly a true case of young man reactions. Rotha showing it us again. You can actually react to certain things when you're still young. Apparently so. <laughs> but man, these matchups tonight, they are phenomenal. And let me switch the camera real quick, because after this, we have a banger chat. Coming up next, the villain is gonna meet the secret player, Camogat. He is back. So many people on YouTube said, who the hell is this scorpion? We heard a, a lot of different names by Averk. Is it Mirko on a Heidi account? Is it a complete newcomer? No one knows. But what I well, know, I know is... who it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be MK Javier. That is right. He's there in South Korea. But now back to yeah. the match we go. Where is my sound chat? I am so sorry. Okay, well, we don't... The problem might be that we have too many people watching this stream right now. Right? Close to 500 people are in the crowd with us. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Welcome to our Season 4 finale. And right now, Rotha is speedrunning this. 
He is. He is indeed. He wants to get through to round two pretty dang quickly. Right, double portal action. Again, another block overhead with the reaction tings. And the sky drop on reaction as well. Round two. Rotha is, I have to say, Rotha is looking in supreme form tonight. The thing is, right after that Quan Chi release, Rotha looks like a complete different beast. He was so strong with Rain, but Rotha on Quan Chi, that is a complete new level bug we just unlocked here. Absolutely. I was trying to look for the trip guard, but just, just mistimed it slightly, did Rotha. I'm not sure who won that. That trade was fairly even with the Sector Missile coming in as insurance. Big whiff, oh, oh, recovers the time, oh. luckily. But again, Rofa in the driver's seat, running away with the game. Montserrat needs to wake up, good cross jump, that is the start he needs, and now Rofa in the blender, that's where smoke really shines. Set up. All right, what's it gonna be? We've got a knockdown. Patience, looking for a wake up, is Montserrat. And he gets it. Final round. Alright. Final round. Straight away. Frame one portal pressure. Just kicked him in the back of the head. Like a true gentleman. Try to go for the cheeky reset, but Monster Egg read him like a book. There's a throw combo sponsored by Janet. Yeah, just not optimizing their chances is Monster Egg. Got the micro duck, but nothing after and now we're just sh trying to do anything trying to do anything to schmix up glamdow did he just grab him right out of the cancel Rofa, he did. that is not allowed <laughs> flag on the play unnecessary unnecessary uh, levels of legendariness <laughs> but do you want to see a crazy thing look oh! at this no, that is disgusting. Rotha! No! 3-0 sweep here in our Season 4 finale. Bulk, look at the chat prediction. <laughs> well, it looks like 100% of the chat prediction points. is going to be very happy. I think I've so never the, seen that before. Half did you a see the ending? To, can we just talk about the ending to that final round? What a heartbreaker for Monzerag. What a way to get sent into the loser's bracket from round one, where they went... For the combo so you see we've got we're gonna have this into the fatal blow and the fatal blow just goes nowhere heartbreak oh well, there we go but at the same time that means rotha makes it to the next round once again the reminder for everyone watching this right now since there are so many players competing we are only able to showcase like a handful of sets tonight top 32 top two top 16 is what's gonna happen today and of course we're gonna stream a lot of round two matches as well i know you guys want to see kani mani versus so sad so of course bulk and i we're gonna deliver we're gonna stay up extra late for this community so chat thank you so much for being here let's talk about the next set though the villain he is back at it bulk but today he has to fight the new secret weapon in the arena no one knows who it is what we know is he is one of the best scorpion players we have ever seen rumors on the streets are this cannot be a new player is it a pro player on a heidi you guys have to tell me villain versus Camogat, rank number 22 versus rank number 11. And just take a look at Camogat's statistics, Bulk. 12 sets played and 12 sets won. This dude hasn't lost a single match during the qualifiers. <laughs> Hody in the, in the chat literally just, just definitely got me. And it was confirmed earlier that um, Kiss did sell their songs to a Swedish investor. To so, um, yeah, we're going to have to look, think of a new new gig for Glamdel. But not no con on screen right now. We've got Thunder God himself, the, the, the Elder God of Electricians versus the Angry Ninja play, Flame and Kunai Enthusiast. And that is the first time I see those two players playing each other. Camuget versus Villain. This honestly is going to be a banger match. And I can't wait to see who's going to have the upper hand. Try to convert it. Chameleon a little bit too slow here. Yes, I, mean, I love the idea there. The, the, the idea was there just a couple of frames off on the execution. However, I really like... I've never seen Camuget play. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. 
the defensive play, the patience, allowing your opponent to enough room to hang themselves. This is the this is the gameplay of a mature player. I don't know how old Camo Gat is, but they are playing with maturity that is admirable to watch and a joying indeed. Playing very, very solid footsie so far. Kamuga definitely knows what he's doing. Here's the shove. Push into the corner. Double low starter. And now Villain is going to squeeze out all the damage he can. Yes, and damage is something that Ooh. the Elder God of Electricians does not shy of. But getting neutral jumped out of their defense there. Camogat sealing round one. And so far, the Villain with his Oriental Hat Enthusiast and Big Ball Commando, the BBC in the back, looking for some answers. The villain right now, now he's getting angry. Yes, it's the offense. Time to turn it up. Turn up the gas, put on the pressure. Blocked overhead, completely safe though. Oh, what an interrupt. Getting their turn. Poke special in the corner here by the shrubberies it's going to be chip out for round yes camo gat I in situations like that you uh, i personally would uh, you know i wouldn't be completely against letting go of the block button just to prevent your opponent getting a bit more meter Teleports in and just commits to it. Got away with it. Great decision making from Camuget. And here's the chameleon combo bug. Look at this bad boy. 33%. What for breakfast? Tries to go for the spear. Villain was ready. Oh, that was a reach too far with your kunai. Shooting at nothing but thin air. As the villain takes the aerial approach, gets in there, and this is where the numbers can really hurt. Raiden just outputting so much. Oh, oh that is good. what an answer! Yes, was aware that the Canon knives are coming in hard. Goes for the low poke and then goes for the chameleon mix. Villain in trouble. Needs that opener. Yes. Poke special. That is an opener and there's nowhere near a break. Is this going to... I think this might close that that, it out. Yeah, that, that is enough. That's fatal blow. It doesn't scale back. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it's got to, it's got to break 40%. And he's only on... Oh, wait. It's not going to do it. He's Bug. alive. Bug. No! Oh! The BBC! <laughs> no. Saved by the BBC. No. Camogat was hoping to land on that pointy hat of Oriental Electricianage. However, the big ball commando in with the insurance and the balls. Said he's back. What can I say? The villain. Just doing the villain things once again in grand finals. That's what he's known for by. That's his legacy move. The torpedo teabag. <laughs> legacy since 2024. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, our entire community is supporting the toxicity again. I see that you guys are here for the drama. There was a super close round one. I cannot wait to see how the next one is going to turn out. Yeah, in the replay, Camo got very, very nearly so expertly navigated around Storm Cell, but BBC was there. Kano, with his balls, was right there waiting for him, if you know what I mean. The villain taking the lead in the set, but Camogat, he was so ready. Oh, the return of the Kroll was not expecting that. Getting getting a prick right from behind is the villain's Raiden. But trying to teleport punish, but getting out jumped. Okay, the villain is on offense. This is where they just have to consistently put the damage in and then it's impossible to make a way back. However, Camo Gat finding the gap and look at the... Do you see in the... the, the um, on my screen it says 0% zero, zero two hit combo for on uh, villain side. That's quite funny. That's an MKX combo. Great awareness here with the interrupt. Blocks it, goes Ooh. for the down two. Yeah, that trade in his favor. And Ooh. we read the jump in attempt as well. Camel gets three chameleons, 360 no scopes, right while midair. What a gal. 
Return of the Kroll? No, because the Comedian was knocked out of it this time. Right, looking for the overhead. Both both sides looking for the overhead. Has the villain got Camogat to start playing more scrambly than he wants to? Doing it on block, of course, the Chameleon Leap can give at least a little bit of safety. Yeah, and that's the thing that Raiden can, of the character, can actually force you to do as a player, is to get is to lose your composure but trying to slow things down right now is camo gat this is going to be chip out for the round storm is coming final round fight all right get away from me community don't want to know know about your your safe pressure right using the crawl and there oh, was a little awesome. spade. The villain, he tried to counter the leap, but Camogat then countered the counter. Wait, I'm losing track, but... That, 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 that was... Counter to counter the counter. I love it. That was throwing a prime stake into the ocean where the shark feeding is happening. Baited. Camogat, so close. Villain, now the one who really has to be careful. Oh, that's a first significant touch, though, for the villain. What's the setup going to be? Going low into the BBC. Just but opening out of it. Camel the Shirai Ryu need me, says says Scorpion. Do we see the counterbacks? Is it time or is it all business? No, Camel Get is saying, I'm not playing. Like I'm it. not falling for your mind I games, like villain. It. Exactly. The Camel Gat is here to say, I'm not here to play no kids games with you, kid. That is right. Camel Get is saying, where's my money? <laughs> Beautiful set so far. Kids games. Where's my money? <laughs> uh, but that, is, that is exactly what we expected here. From our season finale, literally, the world top class represented in this top 32 bracket. All these players you see here, they fought for six weeks straight just to be here tonight. And yes, this is going to be a wild, wild ride for every MK1 fan out there. Today, top 32, two top 16, and we have a lot of stellar matches in the pipeline for you guys. So stay with us, grab a drink, and watch some MK. It reminds me, I, I must apologize. Last week, I, I suggested that Stellar Artois was a French lager. Uh, it's Belgian, isn't it? Where is it from? I still have no idea about it. You I thought you'd have taken the week to go, <laughs> go to the supermarket and get a couple of cans. Anyway. Right, teleporting in, but blocking is the villain. You've always got to teleport safely, kids. Always practice safe teleportation. Uh, there was a punish on the poke. Villain going oh, right. for the burger, 35% blocks the chameleon as well, and that is a punish all day long. Yeah, that's. I think that's the third time that Camo Gat's overhead Molina ball roll is, has been blocked by the villain, and it's cost him every time. Oh, M. Ganesh! Would you, what in the name of the Elder Gods of Electricians was that? Holy, holy hitbox, hurtbox interaction, Batman. All right, making amends for that errant anti-air, the accidental air from the villain. Right, looking for the, looking to sustain the pressure and then steal the turn with the armor. All right, nice conversion with the, I think I left the oven on. Right now, in, in the, the driver's seat, wait a minute, we armor out of it, side switch. Yes, there's the next thing. I, want, I wonder if it's going to work out for Camo Gat before it doesn't. What a teleport! Managing to get the throw punish. Yeah, but villain sitting on three sticks of butter. That means we have one break available. Yeah, that's why. That's why Camo Gat went for Don't the throw. It. But it's going to be too villain. little, too late. Villain. Bike. Yeah. Yes, Bike. it turns out Stellar Artois is from Belgium. So I apologize to the person in the YouTube comments last week who uh, suggested that I got it wrong. Because I did, I got it wrong. It's still rubbish. This, this guy, chat. What are, what are we doing with the villain here in the arena? 
grand finals. Everyone is having a good time, and this man is here to destroy the party. <laughs> well, you know, you, you're at the party, and then everyone everyone's enjoying themselves, and all of a sudden, you know, they start passing around the, the torpedo bags and the the oriental hat and the stor- poke storm you know what's volcano. Even, you know what's even worse, Bulk? He actually didn't go for the brute because he wanted the tea bag. Oh, there's a brute to um. Yes. I think I've given on. Yes. Is there? Oh, and okay, he intentionally okay. didn't go for it because Story he wanted the tea bags instead. You know what? I respect it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, you, who, who doesn't respect it? Use some manners. The villain on match point, Camuget, trying to get us to the first game five here in our season four Round top one. thirty-two grand Fight. finale. Let's see if he can get it. Yeah, he's going to have to win two in a row though to try and steal it from the villain. Laughing maniacally. All right, just just machine gunning the down ones to try and pre- to to counter the teleporting from Camogat. But I couldn't get him could the punish in time. But it's okay. Oh, it interrupted Kano, but it no. The teleport on the wrong side and now called out by the villain. 35.481% right there. As the elder god of electricians looks at Hanzo and says, I think you've had some real cowboys in here, mate. It's gonna cost you. Stroking his chin. Oh, that's sending two range. Try to go for that uppercut. Didn't get the micro dash needed. Yeah, this is gonna close it out for the villain. With a couple of knives, the I think I left the oven on wasn't even necessary. Round two. Fight. Oh, the reach on his elder godly size fours. Stompson, Kano. The good old Raiden BNB staggers <laughs> from Camogat, trying to somehow open the villain up. The flawless block. Reduce that chip damage as much as possible. Caught him. Converts oh, it. What a, yeah, what a conversion here. And into the Katani on. And then into the Melini on. But again, the Raw Dog Melina ball roll blocked and punished. What the? What the? Man, excuse me. What the, <laughs> the hell was that entire? that. That was the knowledge to, to be, know that that was going to low profile both of the Kano knives and anti air at the same time. But was, no! We've got sexy. three bars. With, we're not killing off this, but I think the, the villain wanted to cash out before Camo Gat got to their own breaker. But it's going to put the villain in touch for game territory. He Uh-oh. tried to make an Omega Heart Read and still gets it bulk and here the villain back at it. 200 bags per second. Well, we, we know what that means. It means that Camo Gat is now 13 for 12. <laughs> That's a good point, yes. That was a phenomenal matchup though. Camo Gat villain, thank you guys so much. And of course, Camo Gat's journey here in the arena is not over yet. Just down to the lower side of things. Still everything possible. We believe in the loser run. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's not that many matches, but it is extra matches to try and make it back through the loser's side. So all the best to Camo Gat down there in the <laughs> shark-infested waters of the lower bracket. Yes, sir. And you guys can see a lot is going on here in our grand finale tonight. But there is more coming up next. And I know that you guys want to see this one. The Battle of Arena Champions is going to go down here in front of our eyes. And yes, I'm talking about Faisal versus Daniel. Who is going to have the upper hand in this one? I'm curious about the chat prediction. Let's take a look at our player cards. Let's take a look about their current journey here in Season 4. Let's find out who is the superior champion at the end of the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, we, this is a matchup we have seen play out before in the season. In various seasons. 
Oh, very one-sided prediction right now. 1.1 million <laughs> channel points on Pfizer. <laughs> it's like 1.1 mil. 1.1 mil. Yeesh. Yeesh, people throwing their points at this game. All right. Okay, it's, it seems like our community is quite confident that Faisal is going to take it. I'm not so <laughs> sure about this because Daniel, we know him since the early MK11 days, a very strong player, a several yeah, time look, arena champion. Let's look champion. at those stats with 67% to 71. They're not that far apart. And Daniel has played more sets this season and has finished in the league higher up at 15th plays 18th so maybe some misplaced confidence question mark i'm hyped for this one not gonna lie the battle of champions always a little highlight here in these grand finals is it gonna be torpedo gaming do you guys think faisal is gonna bring the peacemaker i think he might Hmm, that would be cool. That would be cool. Obviously, if they were a real hero, they would they would come in with Shoutaro. Yeah. Players are in the lobby. Let's get this party started, chat. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to our grand finals. And of course, Booyah! thank you for the non-stop support. Please consider helping us out with our new season. We try to start it on Monday. Let's see if we can make it happen. Right now, looks like a little shooting at Spike in the beginning. Luckily, the lobby didn't crash. Hopefully, the servers are going to stay with us. The bullshit on the internet is rotting. Okay, John looking like he's ready for the field with his gridiron. Johnny looking resplendent in his very expensive sunglasses. Oh, he's out. His people need him. John Cena's comeback in full 4K right there. Eagly trying... I thought there was cooldown on Eagly. Oh, there it is. We don't talk about that, Mark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's meant to... They said two and a half seconds. That wasn't two and a half seconds. It's a gravity. Oh, Good what a punish Daniel. there. Didn't overcommit. Waited for his turn. Again, another punch underneath the Desert Eagle, but didn't catch the low-flying eagle. Right there. Straight to Johnny Cage's posing pouch with the beak of justice. Right, he's out with the, tor the torpedo. Eagly doesn't want to know, he's away. And now, significant touch for Daniel. We've got the corner, we've got Janet. 44.844%, by the way. Fair and balanced Damahe from our Hollywood D-lister. Little reminder, after this, we go into round number two of our matches today, and that means we're in the qualification territory for top 16. Right, just shooting the toes. Janet coming out to give some space, give us some social distancing. Big we punished that. Got the launch, but ate a face full of grenades from the mall cop. And another punish from Faisal is going to close this out. Game one going to Faisal. That is going to be enough. Faisal securing the first round and now all eyes on Daniel. Is it going to be a character switch immediately? We know he has that pocket Kenshi available. Not sure if it's a smart decision, especially versus a player like Faisal when he's on Peacemaker. A character who's supposed to not have any bad matchups at all, Pike. Are we saying that Peacemaker is very good? Yes. And Hody is saying Kenshi Peacemaker is actually in 2 8 matchup. Interesting. Wow. Well, to be fair, Kenshi can't see Eagly coming, can he? And I just see something here. Rotha, <laughs> the first player guaranteed in top 16 winners. Congratulations, Rotha. Oh, nice. Let's go, Rotha. A reader's secret weapon. All that time in the basement has obviously paid off. We should keep you there more often. Treasure chamber. 
never cross paths. Coming up next, Kani Mani, who is the ranked number one seed in our PlayStation League versus Soulset. All right, back to Kanamani's basement here. It's not the basement, it's actually the back room. This After is all Kanamani's these arena winnings, yep. <laughs> so he, he's, he's made so much from the arena in the background, you see he's actually melting some of the gold. He doesn't need the coinage. All right, again, Striker keeping Faisal's indiscretions completely safe. Blake, completely re re repercussion free offense here from Peacemaker. Round two. Fight. Final prediction 84% on Faisal, 60% on Daniel. Throw Them's combos. is some, some convincing numbers in the chat. Can Daniel put some convincing numbers on the screen? It's a gravity. Right, we're going to punish that? No. Don't get the opportunity to. Right, he's out. Hollywood needs him. Got to, re got to run through that script. Can't get the pickup, but gets a reset instead. All these right, double eagly. Like blow dart combos into the sploosh. 39.847%. That was a gorgeous up block, but it wasn't enough. And Faisal right now looking unstoppable, but the chat might be right here with their 1.5 million channel points. Indeed, the chat looking like Hudson in the end of Aliens. Hudson might be right. And that was so that's a very strange Pizer. reference. That's that's when they're, do, they're using the motion trackers when they're making their final stands. You remember that? Uh, excuse me, no. Mike, what, what do I remember? Aliens. You must remember. You must. Yes. You must be the. Okay. Whatever the word is in German, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually called alien as well here. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> did you play the the game though? Like where you? Of course to... I did. Yeah, I loved it. It looked way yeah, too scary for me. But you know what else looks scary? Faisal, right now on Peacemaker, 2-0 <laughs> up, we are on sweep point. Daniel needs to bring this back. Alright, opening with double eagly into the Desert Eagle, into the Torpedo. Into the next eagly. That bird is a hard-working avian. I hope they have a, a cast-iron contract. Why is my chat saying Rip is even getting scared by his own Roomba? <laughs> That is not true at all, Jack. Yeah, he, he got rid of the Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I oh, like Faisal. the switch to Ser I do like the switch to Serena from Daniel. Give yourself a bit of help, a bit more health. Give yourself an extra 5%. Get some utility with the with the crawl. But just, that's not gonna help you when you just walk straight into John Cena unloading his his Glock right there. Well, he's Desert Eagle, you know. Faisal just looks so strong with that character. That's always the problem when we have a top tier player and a top tier character. Even though that that we can say that about both players here, Daniel and Johnny Cage is just as scary. But yeah, but Faisal this... in MK1, ah man, he is so good. Think of the dip, the contrast in character game styles though. But what, do, what does Johnny Cage want to do? He wants to be in your grill so you can see your own face in the reflection of his $500 sunglasses. What does Peacemaker want to do? He wants to backdash his way back into some kind of Royal Rumble from his heyday. He's going to end up back in MK11 at this rate. <laughs> Backdashing into another round, but now Daniel. His moment to shine goes for the meter drain. Smart decision, hard knockdown. I knock do down. like it. Drain the resources like the, like the X. Oh, the up block just on the wrong side and, and there was no button coming out of it anyway. Serena double crawl completely negated. No, what a conversion from Faisal. Anti-air eagly. And then he had the situational awareness to hit confirm this into the torpedo. That was impressive, Mike the beak of justice into the helmet of truth. What a way to close it out. 
An absolutely disgusting performance from Faisal here. I personally didn't expect this at all, considering how strong Daniel is. But today, Faisal, he was just stronger. GG's to both. There you go. There you go. But that Eagerly means... torpedo, two-hit combo. It's like a Street Fighter 2 combo. But chat, that means now it's getting hot in here. Round one of our finale officially in the books. And now, Balk, we dive right into the qualification sets for oh. top 16. Coming up next, and now we're talking business. Kanimani, the highest ranked player in our PlayStation League. At the same time, the most successful arena player in the arena history is gonna battle the Gears God. So sad is here tonight. Made it into the second round after beating Evil Carnage 3-1. The question is, is it gonna be enough? to beat one of the favorites. Well, the, 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 here's the thing. Kanamani hasn't had to play a game today. He might be cold. His, his fingers might not react in time. His thumbs haven't, may not have had the correct lubrication, if you know what I mean. Or he could have just spent the last hour grinding in, in ranked or something. You don't, you don't know. But, you know, there's always a chance. Thosid is coming off the back of a 3-1 slugfest. But there it is, rank number one. Only one single loss on Kanimani's side. 84% win ratio. This, this is a stellar run in season four. This is going to be rough. What is the character going to be? I don't know. Is it Raiden? Is it Kenshi? Is it another top tier? We're going to find that out very, very is soon. It, is it Omni-Man? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, so said, we have to take a we have to take that the dose of the realism pill. This is looking rougher than a teenager's face. However, if anyone can do it, it's one of our top thirty-two qualifiers, and so said is absolutely one of those. Can he call time on our number one protagonist, recipient of large quantities of cash? From Time. Arena Coppers. Gage Mansion. Is this timeline better than the last? Well, we've locked Without in with Western Raiden. Raiden Kano, everyone's favorite combination. And Gearus Motaro. Let's go. Gear Taro for Sosid. But straight away, headscarf providing no protection to overhead slappery. From the Elder God of Electricians. Oh, we are going to freeze up right now. No break from Kanamani. Confident he can hold this Damahe and still make it. 44.734%. Gone. Deleted. Over at Connects and Salsa full stream. Buffing up. Yeah, I love it. The spacing. They're using it to crush the low poke from Kanamani's Raiden. Beautiful choice of button right there from Sosed, who is sitting on a very substantial health lead. And again, crushing the down one. And Motaro with the turret. I think Sosed, he wants to send a statement here. I see a lot of scared faces in the chat. 97% on Kanimani, 1.1 million shadow points again. Only 30k on Sosed. You guys are crazy for this one. Gearus must be allergic to Kato's balls because he got sent straight full screen from that interaction earlier at the beginning of the round. Right, again, BBC, get off of me! It's just splooging sand all over the place is Gearus. Which is which is odd because he's made of sand, isn't he? So that's like his insides coming he's out. He's just sweating sand. Oozing from every pore. Right, that was quick. So that was uh, that was efficient from Kanamani in repost. Oh, didn't watch your time time shifting size tens there, young Gearus. And now watching the dome again, blessing that cranium. But oh, just, just say it with your chest. Say it with your chest, big guy. Right, Motaro coming out with the turret, able to apply some pressure, and eating the Earthworm Shim is Kanamani. It was expecting a throw just 
took a face full of sandy abs from Gearus. Sosid back with the health lead. Can he make it stick? Oh, this is so close. Yeah, right now you just you're gonna eat all the overheads. If your name is Sosid. Flawless block. Can't get the punish on this. Motaro can't with Command yeah, Trap. Kept, kept plus with Motaro. <gasps> oh and no! Did he flawless him. block? Did he flawless block the Kano knife and then and then do a reversal? Because I think I think Sosid did a reversal. But it was reacting to the hit stun from the Kano knife, and Raiden wasn't close to him. That was unfortunate. Let's take a look at that replay. So here it is, yes, Sosa trying to just arm or in neutral there. Yes, he, he blocked the Kano knives, and maybe in his headset heard the block, and then reacted with the, uh, with the reversal. And that was his end. That was his demise right there, as, as Raiden really was. was just just casually strolling on up there for a punish. Very, very intense. Jesaurus, thank you so much for the resubscription here. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We have more than 600 people in the crowd with us watching our season finale after six weeks of qualifiers. And yes, this bracket is filled with sweat. Video games, yo, <laughs> featured here in round number two as well on stream. So all the show fans, get hyped. Yes, there we go. What a, a making the, making our country proud. Video games, yo. Not, not Germany. I mean, I mean, um, you know, UK. J just say it. <laughs> All right, flawless blocking the storm cell. Yeah, it, it, it's such a key pivotal thing to do. It's a skill that you must have down. Oh, what a whiff punish! The backdash into the overhead bonkery. Oriental Hat providing no protection to Dusty Fist from our Time Lord. Round two. Fight. Right, I think I left the other dog straight out. But no! <laughs> Interesting adaptation here from Soulset coming up with that on the fly just down to launch. Feels like an MK11 Gears combo. Yeah, 13.779%. It's not a lot of damage, clearly, but it's all about the position it gets you. Unfortunately for Sosed, that position is to be comboed. However, we get that one bar break. We're out of there. Our people need us. Looking for the staggers, cancelling into the storm cell, BBC for insurance. Oh, again, just not watching your size tens. Poor Gearus making it look very difficult running right now here in the corner by the flowers. Good armor. This time it worked. But yeah, speaking I like of it. Can you returning the favor? I'm still gonna feel an arm. Get your turn back completely. All right, the EX Storm Cell. Here. It was looking longs for my man's for so said. However, is this the start of something quite magical? We got the plus frames, but no, poking out is Kanamani at the earliest opportunity. So said on life support, and that's gonna do it. The grab he wasn't ready for the tech. And Kanimani running away with the set 2-0 lead. Raiden wins. There you go. All right, Raiden proving why he is the best electrician amongst the Elder Gods. He's the person that they call, well, he's the god that they call upon when they need to get the light bulbs changed. Very, very intense sets we are witnessing so far. Coming up after this. Faisal versus Kitana Khan for the top 16 spot in Grand Finals. You guys better be ready for this one. One of the best Sindel players in the entire world. Gonna meet the Peacemaker Warlord himself. Let's see if Faisal can win this. <laughs> okay, a lot of work to do for young Sosed, who is 
finding themselves 2-0 down here in the mansion. And the constant pressure from Raiden, the god of safe big combos. Right, that's gonna clear, that's gonna do it, isn't it? There we There's go. Enough Thirty-eight point nine two three percent. What did I see in the YouTube comments the other day? I really liked it. It was um, uh, the, the the walking beacon. I think that was you, or something like that. <laughs> um, and uh, Mr. Exacto de Marge was me. <laughs> I like Mr. Exacto de Marge, and yours was very funny too. I just oh, can't what it was. Tigris just updating us, saying Honeybee is out of the tournament. Camel Gap actually kicked Honeybee out of the finale in the lower side. Wow! Okay, so news just in. This on the ticker tape, ladies and gentlemen. Honeybee, you're the, the hero of the great frozen north. Canada's finest and strongest honeybee is out, out of the out of the bracket, out and, of the running. And right now, Soset sending down, getting sent down to the lower side as well. Kani Mani with an overwhelming performance in round number two. Sorry, Welcome to, to top sixteen. Brutality. Raiden. Dang, and finishing it with the I think left the oven on brutality. You gotta go. What 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 a better way? To, what there's no there's fewer better ways to go, frankly. I think left the other arm into the brutality. Oh boy, oh boy, we are witnessing absolute madness tonight in round number two. Coming up next, Faisal versus Kitana Khan. Is it Peacemaker versus Sindel? We see Kitana Khan starting this finale with a 3-0 sweep over Milo, just like Faisal swept Daniel in round number one. And now they're gonna meet each other. Very, very interesting matchup. Both of them have the potential to take the entire tournament, in my opinion. Both of them constantly placing top four, top eight every single season. But today, there can only be one. Who is gonna stay in the winner's side? That's right, there can be only one. Who is going to be the figurative Highlander of the piece? Who's got a carp lacking as the Kurgan? And the match like three people expected. are going to get that reference. <laughs> what was Highlander called in Germany? It was called Highlander as well here. Oh, okay, okay. That was good, good, good. good. Peacemaker, Blue Striker, Sub-Zero. The Great Hall. You know, it's low key one of my favorite on movies of all time. It is a great one. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I find yeah. that highly. I mean, the special possible. effects are so bad, they're good. As is Christopher Lambert's Round accent. As is Ramirez, the Scottish Spanish sort of. However, no inconsistencies here, as we've got the Empress versus the, the wannabe Widowmaker. 96% of Faisal again, yeah. Consistent. Consistent numbers. Yeah. They believe in this piece of paper. Right, putting hands on Desperate Housewife right there. 80s hair enthusiast. Can't get in with Eagly around. Right, feathers, go at him twice. The double eagerly looks so so wonky because it doesn't even look like eagerly is off screen before he comes back in again. <laughs> I mean, he clearly is, but it it just doesn't look like he is. You know what I mean? Oh, the face full of gats right there, emptying the dang clip into Empress's the masked face. And that, that glow every single time, completely shutting Force down field. the zoning approach. Of course, Ka uh, Kitana Khan has that Monclizzi on as well. Beautiful punish here, right under the projectiles from Striker. Didn't Faisal play Geras in MK11? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because he backdashed that. He backdashed all sets then as well. <laughs> it, I'm just getting flashbacks right now. Flashbacks of, of backdashes. <laughs> 
The chat is saying, your fingers must be lightning grips dealing with Discord and the bracket industry. I honestly, uh, one day I'm going to have a secondary camera on and then you guys can actually see what I'm doing while this set is running in the background. I have my entire screen here full with messages, Discord, overlay, scoreboard, bracket, and all that stuff. Adjusting here, everything on the... I'm literally typing non-stop while these sets are running. You guys just don't see it. Not the, it, it, Rip, it can't possibly be the biggest audience in Streamland for Mortal Kombat 1 right now at 9.13pm uh, Central European time. Not getting that streaming on your own is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have Somebody to do it like Aquaman difficult. someday. I have to find someone who's do the, who's doing the production while the event is running. Whenever I commentate an Aquaman, you know, a Colosseum event with Aqua <laughs> together, it is so easy because he actually has someone who does the entire production side. Every yes. single time he's streaming, he's just chilling there commentating. Yeah. It is, it is like a the, great thing. But so, guys, please, I, because I see the comment quite often on YouTube as well, I never mean it in any bad way when I'm not answering to Bike. And Bike knows it as well. When he's asking me a question, I'm not. he knows that I'm doing something here in the back i'm distracted that's, with something don't tell chat don't tell rip that's exactly why i ask him questions <laughs> but he knows it. i'm here just being a massive douche <laughs> so i I'm honestly really. don't mean it in a bad way i'm i'm just struggling <laughs> with multitasking but now back to the match we go faisal up 1-0 of course force field is active again force field yeah, <laughs> no, the fact is, if you if you think of if you think of other um, tournament streams like TNS or um, uh, the, the the Coliseum um, or uh, uh, even uh, like Can Opener for the Ipes, they all have their own studio and they they actually run with a team. Um, the only teamwork that's happening right now is Rip's left hand and his right hand. That's all the. The only teamwork you're getting in the production palace that is uh, the Rip's um, abode. So um, yeah, you, you're gonna have to be a, a little bit. We have, we have we've got mods in the background doing some prediction stuff. That's really cool of them doing. So it really frees up a lot of time from Rip, and it's such an essential thing that they do. And they're also helping out with the brackets as well. The mods do an incredible job, but they can only do what they can. All the other stuff, that's down to your bearded Baldy, the hero of the hour. And the hero of this round is, again, Faisal's Peacemaker. Faisal is right now looking close to Unstoppable, the Dark Souls boss here in our finale so far. Who can stop him? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just so difficult to put a finger on this 200 pound individual <laughs> <laughs> that is right and the, the thing is whenever we see these matches you want to, the thing is kitana khan doesn't do anything wrong like he's he's playing perfect but faiza how can you beat that look at him just yeah, it's, moving it's across the, the runaway like it's the late it, it, there's, there's, there's nothing negative implied by this at all it's the lame play from faisal who's just able to keep back dashing until they run out of screen or until they're back in mk11 Right, we're blocking again. the high heels. Faisal, side switch with that anti-gravity. Kitana Khan back against the wall. Eagly is on cooldown. Oh, Eagly went away for some bird seed. And look at the look at the situation now. Because Eagly did not come out, Kitana Khan has an opportunity to put some offense on. Making the most of the strike throw. And then hitting them with the Manola Blanix. Shimmy. And that is yes, what Kitana the, Khan was looking forward for. The hundred strand slap right there in the corner. In the corner in front of her empty throne. Melina, don't get any ideas. Right, hundred strand slap into low balls. Faisal is just playing the lame game. Knows he doesn't have to overcome it at all, but there it is, the torpedo. And Kitana Khan knows how to deal with the striker right after as well. Yes, you can only get a tiny, tiny touch because of Striker. But it's all about momentum, and the momentum right now is in Faisal's glove hands. Making, putting all of the hurt on with his Marigolds. Right, get off my buff, there's Striker. Earning his paycheck, the mall cop. 
Yeah, no shimmy this time. Both players have a clear, um, have clearly have a phobia against projectiles. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Torpedo, strike, oh what a punish once again, goes for the throw, and now Faisal all of a sudden in trouble, goes for the air dive, gets oh. the opener somehow. That was so close to being a round for Katana <laughs> Khan, but in the end he blew it right up. That, might be over. that was so close, Katana Khan could smell that victory bulk, one single yes. touch was missing there. And it couldn't stop John Cena bl blowing her head off. Dang. <laughs> Chat after this, you guys better get ready. We have Pyrrhix on stream, our Takatan warrior himself, Bulk. And I already know that he's going to have that mic we on. We have, he's warming up. Yeah, I was going to say, he's warming up his mic and his vocal cords <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> the entire chat is hyped for Pyrrhix already. He's going to face Moody. That's not going to be an easy ride for him. Right now, Faisal in the lead 2-0. We are on sweep point, even though the score really doesn't represent how close the set actually is. Does Pyrrhix get on the mic when he's not on stream? I'm pretty sure he's on the mic all the time. Because that would be law accurate. Oh, the, the, the teleport to get out of the reversal from Kitana Khan. And, like pulling pulling um striker on screen in that instance actually was a bit of a bait. I like it from Faisal. Good matchup right, knowledge. Gonna, yep, gonna blow straight through the Erin Black overhead. Does the um does the uh, Sub Zero shields negate eagerly? I, I'm pretty sure, it? yes. Okay, so Eagly is, is not a it, physical hit. No, no, it is a projectile. Okay, cool. And Faisal, oh, this man the... is here, getting away with murder bike. From the top rope, as the kids would say. Force field. All right, Faisal happy to play a little bit of a little bit of time crisis. But with the most unconventional of tools, his feathered friend. Yeah, that cooldown on Eagly doesn't look like it cools down for particularly long. <laughs> Tries to go for the grab, but Kitana can't last to armor all of that string. Yeah, hitting him with the Jimmy Chews. Big whiff punish, gridiron. good awareness. Yeah, gridiron helmet provided no protection to the double Jimmy Chew hit. Just just spamming the eagerly until it until he comes back. He's he's stubborn with it, it's Faisal. Ah, Faisal is so consistent with that keep away game style. That's gonna yeah, be a lot of damage. Good. Torpedo back against the wall on Titana Khan's and goes for the straight trying to pick it up. Oh, but wake up, Torpedo. There He's you gonna go. seal his faith. Faisal makes it to the top 16 winner side. GG's. Yeah. GG's, Faisal, social distancing the player. <laughs> that, is, that is a good point, but yes. <laughs> And Kitana Khan drops down into round two losers. <laughs> and I see our boy Guchmo with a 25 euro donation. Thank you so much, Guchmo, for the support. Tigris, thank you to you, of course, as well. We are trying Damn. to unlock a new season here for the players um, so we can keep the arena going as it is. You guys know we, we hate to talk about it, but Bug, let's be honest, these players you see well, you here... you hate to talk about it. I love talking about it. The players you, just, you, oh, you see here, just guys... Just reach into your pockets. You yeah, see, what you want to do, chat, is sometimes where you're sitting down honest. right now, either side of your, of, your, um, of your stuff is a pocket. Put your hands in it and try to supercharge this project forward we've got crossplay on the horizon in the very near future the combination of the two mighty leagues who is going to take it and top it playstation x 
Xbox and PC. That is true. Yes, because the thing is, even though, yes, I hate to talk about it, but I can understand the competitive player side as well. All these guys you see here, of course, they only compete because of the prize pool. I can understand that professional players, they, they don't want to waste their time. So, of course, we try to crowdfund the f foundation for them to play here on a daily basis because actually without the prize pool of course this entire project wouldn't work anymore so thank you so much for considering helping the players out and keeping us going at the same time pyrix is here and we see more peacemaker bug even more peacemaker from pyrix the pyrix maker if you will moody clearly with the melina alliterative choices from our players right now Right, get down. They'll make you a fan of the funk, says Moody, but just battling their way out as we have completely, I say completely, but almost contrasting styles of gameplay from Pyrrhix and uh, Faisal. The up block, the active defense from Pyrrhix into the eagerly combo, the feathered continuation, and then waking up to a face full of grenades. Fight. It's the starting board. very, very strong once again. Moody, honestly, feeling the pressure here. I think it's the it's the more aggressive co uh, helmet from um, uh, Pyrrhix. The the choice of wardrobe uh, has completely changed the demeanor of the matchup. Okay, big force field moment right there. Doink. Right, into the Sonic Boom. Trademark Capcom. Like, the only thing I want to know is, do we get the Takata noise even if Pyrrhix wins with Peacemaker? This is a good question. I'd, I'd like to hear Pyrrhix's uh, Peacemaker um, uh, rendition, if I'm completely honest with you. It just wouldn't seem lore accurate to come out as a gargling Tarkata. Block. Punish. Pyrrhix takes it back, and we don't hear anything. We don't no, hear anything. Nothing. O.M. Ganesh. Peacemaker wins. I, I can't add him and eat it. <laughs> I see the entire audience actually disappointed right now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Dang. That is, well, Pyrrhix, you got to up your, um, up your vocal game, bro. Peacemaker. He's going to be busy. I hope Pyrrhix right now is going to be spending the, the rest of the set practicing his Peacemaker noises. Well, no, Pyrrhix and all the general show fans potentially are going to be very, very happy after this video game show versus the Sordid. Oh, let's go. 60 spot in winners. Let's go, video games, yo. All right, what a first interaction from Moody. 34.313% in front of the Flamingo. Jump away into Sonic. Another 25.5 something percent. Closing it out with the overhead Jimmy Choo. Torpedo. All right, empty in the gat. Oh, what a read from Pierce. <laughs> Catching the jump and literally on the first frame. Exactly. Right, looking for the Earthworm ship. Is Moody. Needs to keep the damage going. If he's going to try and make an impact on this round. Still with the round lead, is Moody. Right, Striker, go away. Go back to Donut Shack with you. Right, 41.060%, catching them low, hitting them in the Dr. Martins. Millennium with the extension, but this is going to close it out for Pyrrhix. A jump too many for Moody. Ooh, what a conversion. Able to get the conversion from the low side, from the Catanion. Another clean right. open up, Pyrrhix! Yeah, swiping left with the Marigold is John Cena. Empty eagerly. Again, another 
Catanion sponsored continuation from the low side. And the harassment just stabbing him in the DMs. Right, Striker coming in to break up the fun from the throw. And oh, the, the full screen! The full screen Rando Calrissian from Moody. Moody's going Sonic the Hedgehog, tying this entire thing up. One, one. Let's take a look at our bracket. Coming up next, as we said, Video Games Yo versus Disordered. Kalimani secured in top 16, Rotha secured in top 16, and Faiza secured in top 16. Yes. Yeah, looking, looking, looking nice there. This is really shaping up to be one, one hell of a mother trucking event. What a way to close out the last potentially final non crossplay PS5 league. This is literally the final countdown, Rip. It Have is, I yes, Mike. Bent the royal ear? <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight. Torpedo. I'll just round start torpedo, and why not? Catching him, taking his hands off block is Moody. Getting the side switch, switching back again. Mid screen knockdown. Again, just harassing him with these strings. He's doing the full strings out here, the full Geppetto rip. Moody, it, it looks like he slowly has the download ready. Slowly, but racing at 100 miles an hour. Cutting his spandex top to ribbons. And again, the rando Calrissian from Bow Players. Right, that is one way. Oh my goodness. Um, face mask there, providing no protection to the emptying of the 50 cal handgun. To your face. Oh boy. Now that's a bit. Bit random too much. I wonder why Pyrrhix decided to not go for a full conversion, opting instead for the positioning. Yes, the upload. Trying to optimize. Yeah, this... Gets it, and then it's going to be the round. Pyrrhix, beautiful stuff. 33% of damage. That was a nice conversion. NGL, FRFR, IRL, as the kids would say. That was legit, not illegit. Right, just shanking him in the thigh. You expect nothing less from Melina. Right, trying to battle their batter their way through, and just blo calling out the up dart. These with the face from shanking. They're so fancy every single time. Good snipe once again. Conversion. Does it work? Of course it does. Pyrrhus, he knows what he's doing. Like. Oh, the skulls and shields. Look at the look at the insane mash at the top of the screen there, Rip. Both players going at it. On their on their controllers. Looks exactly like the lock history when Balk is playing commonly. <laughs> we both know it's true, Balk. Here he's whiff grab. Oh, Can't get the whiff punish Take it. Taking a leaf out of Faisal's book here as he's trying to backdash out of this stage. He's going to try and backdash back into Johnny Cage's mansion. Striker, nades not connecting. Woody. Oh, when Dirty oh. makes that Pyrrhix, he, oh, he blocked it, Chad. Brutality. Ah, put right. your put that your faith in the hands of the of the mix wins. and. Look what happens to you. No one in the chat believes that Pyrrhix uh, actually blocked this one. Deadly Rebel saying, what a block, and I agree with that. I don't know, honestly, if Pyrrhix just read this one, or if he somehow reacted to it. I think he just had a feeling bug. Well, let me see what I see with my eyes. It, I've, it, you know, I don't know if he would have blocked an overhead. I'm, I'm pretty sure, chat, let us know. Is that OSable? Like, can you block low first and then stand up on the last the possible frame? Does it work? The animation on screen looked like he did not fuzzy it. So I think that was just a hard call out or he would not have blocked an overhead in that situation. 
Right, up, speaking of blocking the overheads, tried to go for the up block. Didn't get up block punished for it though. Right, boom bada boom. Send them to the corner. JD on trying to get her crawl game going. Trying to shoot her below the knees. I respect the uh, the um, intention. You do less time that way. Just waking up with the double swipes of the marigolds. Send them to the corner. Great defense for Moody this time. Yes, yeah, that was a, the, the most damaging of the chameleon throws. Jade's pole all over your face. Oh, couldn't... J just tapped block. Couldn't neutral crouch the gunshots and then couldn't get a punish going. Is this going to be the first Game 5 bike? I have a feeling. We haven't seen a single Game 5 so far. It's time. Yes. It's so true. We have not yet seen one. The video gets blocked. Again. Optimal punish. Yup. The ball roll is exactly what you want in that moment. Oh, and then catching him on the wake up. Not blocking. Pyrrhix has to spend the cash. Oh, but it's not going to do them any good. Getting caught out of the startup of the shield. So okay. That doesn't protect you from high heels. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone live with us here on Twitch, finally, for the first time <laughs> in our Season 4 finale, we want all of you 600 people to go crazy. Spam your favorite emote in the chat because Moody and Pyrex are taking us for a ride. The first Game 5 of the evening and there can only be one. Super close match, very, very intense gaming going on and bulk. We can finally press that magic button. Chat, lower your volume, bring the hype. We are going in. Here we come. Let's go. I'm all about it. And Pyrrhix for our final match here. The best graphic to ever have graphics on the arena. Pyrrhix going with his tried and true. It's the rack, the Baracano. Oh, what a whiff punish. With the air balls from Moody, but we're, we are not holding. We are not holding any defense. We're going to spend the cash to get out of there, says Pyrrhix. Right, Kano getting swiped by the Kroll. And then Pyrrhix, get, uh, Pyrrhix opening up with the stagger. Right, great option for Oki. Going to blow through any armored option, just like that button right there. Just armoring who is Pyrrhix so offensive. Try to wake up with violence. Moody, is he cashing out? He is. Yeah, this is this is the issue of spending or splurging so hard with all of that cash. Is it leaves you completely open. No break available. And I think this is gonna be it. Not it 50 is. HP, but I think even on a regular HP character, that would have been enough. On a real, real healthy character, 50.952%. Oh, M. Ganesh, rip these numbers. What, my gas bill? Right, stabbing them in the knees, keeping them at bay. Is Pyrrhix on their way to forcing a final round here in the final match? Pyrrhix fighting for his life right now. Would he try to microduck? Didn't work out. Big damage incoming. Kano goes for the midi. I think he tried to cross oh. jump to get the corner position. I think delayed wake up into neutral crouch, micro duck. Lots of other names as well I could call out. <laughs> 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 We're just talking in jargon. <laughs> I, I pity the person who has to watch uh, fighting game commentary who isn't up to speed with fighting game jargon. <laughs> We got a final round, final oh, match, yes. final everything. This is a good yes. match. final game, final round. Pyrrhix with the first touch, clipping Melina in the Jimmy Choons right there, opening up Moody's defense. Right, we did get the block. We couldn't get a punish, and the size were beaten by the arm blades. The extra range for our Tarkotten Terror. Sending Melina to the cages. Pyrrhix, the boy is cooking right now. Moody, our arena champion, feeling the trouble. And Bulk, I have a feeling what's going to happen if Pyrrhix wins this. Oh, but just in the nick of time. The Katarnion sniping. 
the racket out of the air. He's going to be longs away from a breaker. Woody. Armored wake up at some point is odd, got to happen, you would imagine. And that's why Moody backs off. And the uh, cold no. special, one more break oh. available. That is the punish. And that's the punish. There's no fatal blow to cancel into, but we got a Katani on in the back. Ah, and the jump kicks it for Moody. Takes it, blowing up the wake up. And I respect going straight into the fatality. It was a close, close match. But in the end, silencing Pyrrhix's microphone. Moody. With the read of all reads. Fatality. That was an absolute nail biter here in the end, but somehow Moody was able to get the upper hand. Yeah, it was the it was the the tendency to wake up with violence constantly. As you can see, Moody uh, Pyrrhix tried to wake up again with something other than block in that final interaction. That was a wonderful set. And speaking of wonderful sets, we have another one <laughs> in the pipeline bike. Video Games Yo is yeah. going to meet Disordered. That means another battle of champions going down right now in the arena. Who is it going to be? What is the character we're going to see from Video Games Yo? That is my question. We know that General Shaw, we know he has Shang Tsung, we know Peacemaker. He has so many potential picks in the pipeline. But on the other side, Disordered, I mean, Baraka OG. Is it going to be that character? We are finding that out right now. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the support. And of course, thank you for making all these events happen in the first place. Welcome to our finals, Dark Hestia. Thank you so much for the subscription as well. Hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the show. Next match coming up and we see Johnny Bud. <laughs> Tigress in the chat with an IRL update. Thank you for letting us know. All right, we have got the Johnny Cage from from video games yo he's here to be competitive look at the movement from one of the uk's absolute very very finest right there making our nation proud with his wave dashing block cancelling disarted on the kung lao looking for the bread and butter the character oh what the well-placed dive kick there from disarted i didn't expect the kung lao pick at all from disarted a little bit surprising but I didn't expect the Johnny from Video Games Yo as well, so who, who am I to judge here? Exactly, no one expected Video Games Yo to just stand up into hat. Eating the projectile from the Shaolin hat enthusiast. Right, Jean-Claude putting those size sixes to good use. Parry that, says Disarted. And v VGY spent meter on that. They spent meter on this combo as well. That's going to clean it up. Round two. So many close Fight. matches happening today. Of course, so much on the line for the players as well after six weeks. Indeed. Um, you know what? I'm I'm digging this uh, this color combination from John Claude. I, I like it as well. Not gonna lie. Yeah. And both of them just backdashing here into MKX and video games. Here we going uh, for the taunt, saying this uh, okay. Do something, bro. I think we got some localized lag uh, in their set, but you know, it's an online arena. It's an online league. I, I don't see any lag at all, to be honest. I I, I think they're just yeah. trolling each other. I don't. Well, I don't know. I mean, video they're, games they're, yo and Disarted, they, they should have like 90 ping to each other. Both of them, and you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, you know, I'd say just um, man up and do it. It's it's going to be rubbish for both of you. <laughs> so, and Disarted is, you know, well, I say VGY is, um, you know, playing the heel right now as they're sitting on the health lead whilst engaging in this tomfoolery. And we've got star power, ladies and gentlemen. We're using star power for the first time since since February. Sneaking in the low, Goro coming in clutch, but the break was there for VGY. And with that, the star power was gone. Back to some honest mids and big numbers. Oh, oh, oh they're eating the overhead! $500 sunglasses and Hollywood A-lister providing no protection to the overhead. We are going to block out the face of blow and we are going to punish it. 
The chat is saying, what the hell is happening? I have no idea. This is the weirdest match ever. VGY taking the first round. It's, who's that in the chat? It's uh, Imperio in the chat it says that's the first time they've seen star power. <laughs> and it's so true. He's He doesn't need it. He's got one of the most interesting mechanics in the game. And he doesn't even need it. I like that Desart is just laughing his ass off in the chat. <laughs> All right, what's the adaptation going to be? Are we going to stick with Kung Lao or are we going to pick something maybe a little bit different? No, we're sticking with Kung Lao Goro. Doesn't want to be caught on their back without an option. Does Desarted. And spending a lot of time on, that, on their back in that last match, they did indeed. But conversant of it, VGY, you'll notice on every every knockdown, he was just out of there. He was backing right up. The triple to quadruple backdash straight away. Oh, just landed on the crawl. Right, we're going to we're gonna call out Goro on our own terms, says Disarted. Right, we got the duck on the, on the shadow kick, but we couldn't get a punish because Katanion was there to back it up. Oh, are we going to punish that with throw? No. That's going to be a huge open up for VGY. Yeah, we got the corner as well. And the Katani on extension. 38.803% on 9.50 health hat enjoyer. Oh, just eating the buzzsaw, and again, ducking the shadow kick, not getting anything for it. You don't often see Disarted having to chase down a health lead, but that is what VGY has done to our EU protagonist. Uh, uh. Cash out. Okay, yep. I agree. May as well, while you have the opportunity. Is this going to kill? I'm not sure, Bug. I don't want to say anything here. I think this might be too rough, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it is. 37.989%. Our catch in the down one on the lenses. And then jailing it is disarted. Securing round one, but out of one of his best resources. Right, go away, Goro. I don't want to know. Don't want to. Don't want to have to sniff your armpits today, <laughs> says Jean Claude. Visual looking quite decent here in this round, corner position, but just decides to back yeah, out of it. Interesting approach. Doesn't want to well, keep the pressure going. Yeah, Goro was available, so you you completely nullify the armored wake up option from Kung Lao, forcing Disarted to do it in neutral and in block strings, like you just saw. So he's wasting his resource, not getting anything for it. I'm not sure about this pick from Disarted, but he's the one with the controller in his hands. But go away, comedian. Your crawl is four decades too late. Okay, we've got a reasonably close lockdown. And we are going to dash up and do it. And look Sarted at this, Sarted, this man is a teabagging. <laughs> I think he ran out of screen to backdash. Really? Yeah, he's, he's run out of screen to backdash into. Or is he actually teabagging? I think he's actually teabagging, <laughs> He's actually teabagging. Okay. <laughs> Star power! Let's see where your fans are going to get you, JCVD. Here in the corner. Ooh, oh, Goro's armpits. Goro's armpits stuck. Completely flummoxing JCVD. This is literally the weirdest set of the day. It, it, is, it is. I mean, all we need is Pyrrhix to get on the mic at the same time, and <laughs> we'll have our our weird games top trumps for, <laughs> for the evening. And the hat is going to close it out with Goro's Look at, hit look at this, Sarnit. Sure. He's just backdashing in the finishing <laughs> screen. I love it. I, love I hate it. these two. I just yeah. hate them. Yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> It's like when you, um, it's like... <laughs> they started to say, is this MK Javier playing? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I hate this dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't, guys. It's I like can't do you, this anymore. It's like when you find someone in Tekken that can't tech throws, and you just and you end up throwing them to death. And then if they win a round, they just spam the throw button. Come on. <laughs> it's their fault for not being able to tech throws, bro. Anyway, here to the garden. Whose garden is this? That's Tigris. I, I, of course it is. I knew it. I knew it. So this is the lady garden here in in front of the. In front of the boys. Right, quad pit pressure. What are you going to do with it, Disarted? Very solid blocks on those overheads from BU Games Hill. Yeah, so, I mean, what a, what a, he poked him in the bottom, in between the cheeks. However, couldn't get a conversion for it. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna um, zero in on the backdash playstyle is actually the optimal uh, way VGY wants to run this set. Is poor thumbs VGY's poor thumbs? I worry for that young guy. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's oh gonna it's gonna be a big significant start for Disarted. Oh, shadow kick meets dive kick. Shadow Kick Round wins two. the power of Hollywood. Fight. Okay, finally getting an armored reversal to work, but only getting 25.213%, I think is what I saw before it disappeared from my eyeballs. Like, I don't even know how to commentate this match. Like, what is even going on? Okay, now, Disarted putting on their... Putting on their bokey pants right now. Trying to get the... Trying to enforce the mix. But no. VGY getting hands on Shaolin. We're dancing in neutral. Disarted just chilling there. Right, breaking it. I, I agree. Spend the cash. While you still have almost a combo's worth of health left to your name. Well, he's got three bars. He's gonna. Okay, no, he's not gonna kill. Fine. And jumped right into it, video game show yeah. with the perfect timing. 2 1 lead. Alright, didn't get caught. Lacking playing of his food there at the end is a VGY. Final choice of character from Disarted in this set to keep himself in winner's side. After this, Rinsla versus Nuji happening here on mm -hmm. stream today. The first time we see Rinsla after a long, long time of playing, I think, mainly off stream. Does Rinsla backdash a lot as well? Uh, most of the time he doesn't. <laughs> Rinsla, I think he's going to bring Reiko today, most likely. Oh. Nuji, of course. <laughs> Melina. I'm only messing. <laughs> You get a backdash, you get a backdash, you get a backdash. Everybody's backdashing right now. Yeah, man, this artist is backdashing to his OG main, Baraka. There we are, respect it, but this time, backed up with a chameleon. And I like BGY's consistency, only opting for the yellow and purple JCVD. He didn't even change the sunglasses. Consistency of a pro player right there. All right, shanking them, giving the proper tar, tar cotton welcome. However, eating the errant uppercut and then the full conversion. VGY did have all of the space to back up in, but ate the crawl. Disarted has the health lead briefly. Right, lovely conversion there from Disarted. This is going to clean it up for the round with the multiple swipes to the right. Trying to shank him in his action movie A-list of size sixes right there. However, 
VGY. Oh, that was a nasty dash up from VGY. Yeah, his movement is... Press. VGY's movement has always been textbook awesome. Dash it into the corner? That is an interesting approach. He's only doing it so he can dash back out again. <laughs> we got the micro duck. The mi really? most micro of micro ducks are right there. Gorgeous anti air from VGY. Good reaction time. Okay, Disarted has a lot of work to do, but oh my, OM Ganesh! Looking for the chip out was VGY, and look what it might cost him. One wrong move right now is gonna be VGY's error to hold, however, that is going to take the round. Disarted nearly bringing it back, he, he needed one more touch. VGY was touching the back button on his controller a lot. So to get out of awareness. Oh, and now it's Star power. Time. It's amazing where they found the space to put spotlight here in the the, um, the tomb of the clay army. But that's the forethinking that um, uh, these these tomb builders had back then. Oh, just calling out the dash up right there, forcing VGY to spend their cash right there. But Breaking I don't know out VGY of it. has a pretty decent lively to play with. Well, I mean, you say pretty decent, that is monumental. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Throwing them out of the corner. And so that is a habit that um, a lot of the top players have. Uh, and that's going to look wait. Bomb. Last break. Yeah, hangover from previous MK games and the pacing. <laughs> and oh. video games, yo, is teabagging chat. We go right into the fatal. What a match. Oh. Yep. There we go. All right, arguably the best fatality to have ever fatalityed in this particular game. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, it's the Johnny Cage fatality with the car. Just picture it in your mind's eye. So, that means it is time for the last match of the day chat. And that is gonna be Nuji versus Rinsler. Another Ooh. top 16 qualifying match here in front of our eyes. Nuji lately playing out of his mind, I really gotta say that. But Rinsler, he has always been known for being one of the biggest demons we have in the scene. So I'm quite curious about the matchup we're gonna see here. I have no idea. Of course, Nuji 100% gonna bring that uh, Melina. But Rinsler, he has a few characters in the pipeline and I think it's gonna be matchup dependent. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Both players are in the lobby already. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the support. And now get ready for the last match of the night here for our top 32 grand finals. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here and hope you enjoy the show. That's very show busy of you there, uh, young Ripper. <laughs> hope, you, hope you enjoy the show. We're running a circus right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pyrrhix isn't on the mic yet. No, no Pyrrhix circus is the yet. main attraction bike. <laughs> Alright, Pyrrhix, uh, Tigris in there with the news. Pyrrhix advances 3-1 over Vassia. Thank you so much for playing Vassia. However, their run has come to an end here uh, in top 24. Uh, Pyrrhix making it through. Alright, speaking of making it through with 44.539% from what is what my eyeballs vaguely saw out of the corner right there. It just doesn't oh, stop. No, My Nucci goodness. Is, Nucci is here with poor, the mission bike. Poor Rinsler was a was a passenger on Nuji's death coaster right there. Full screen conversion as well. I didn't know that this even works. Right, looking for the staggers. Oh, Clipper in the Jimmy Choos, but didn't believe, did Rinsler. To answer Random Fang quickly in the chat, yes, that is correct.
Okay, well that was that was a speed run. Um, clearly, Nuji has somewhere to be. Um, Nuji has an appointment right after this. He's saying, "Okay, let me let me secure the top sixteen spot real quick." <laughs> just just casually go out there and you know get the three zero. What is the repost going to be for Rinsler? Are they going to be able to bring it back? Is it going to be a character switch? That's the question I have. Is it Reiko? Is it? No, it is not. No, it isn't. We're going with Barricado. You know, have you noticed something? There's been a lot of blue costumes from our players this evening. I'm liking the consistency, and it's a good choice to have. I saw you seem Let's to Go be ready for everything. I saw Let's Go Noogie, Let's Go in the in the chat right there, and I read it as Let's Go Nug Nuglets. <laughs> like Noogie has his own fan base, and they and they are the Nuglets. That would be really cool. Let's hear it for the Nuglets out there. As we shank them in the top of the dome, the proper Outworld welcome. Oh, that's going to be it for the round. Decision making is literally flawless right now. Round two, fight. Let's go, Nuglets. Let's go. Right, the anti-air Melini on. You cannot just errantly jump willy nilly. Oh, and the timing on it, getting the punish on the errant blade spark. Rinsler, hard knocked up. Luigi poking out of the pressure, right decision. Mm hmm. And blowing through the armor. Right there. Beautiful combo. Oh, Luigi. Oh, Optimizing as well. He's still going, but try to even extend it further. Yeah, tried to, but it, the scaling was far too harsh. The scaling was harsher than the YouTube comments after I commentated. <laughs> And here comes Rinsler. No bar available, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the round. Oh yeah, I mean, th th this is, he's more than killed her. Killed her so hard, he's pushed her back into MK9. Oh, tried to get the punish. Knew where she was going, but came down with the Sonic the Hedgehog. Right, we're blocking the crawl, and we get the punish this time before Katanion could even lift up her boss. Girl, do you even lift? <laughs> right, balls everywhere. Get the Jimmy Choo. Rinslow Two. once again on life support. There's the cop dog oh, connect. If only he... Nuji would be looking at that situation thinking, I could have just st stood block and got my punish game going. Instead, got caught in the summon animation. We've got the bar to spend. We can't kill her, but we have got a Kano Ball set up into what could arguably be called guaranteed chip out situation. Yes, Rinsla brought it back. It looked so in that Nuji's favor first. Rins Rinsler woke up this morning and put on his clutch pants, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a set to finish it off. All right. Is it premature to say Winsler? Can Nuji keep his composure while all about him are losing theirs and blaming it on him? We're gonna find that out Kami right now. Kano, Temple of Kataravala. Many oppose your mercy toward my kind. Rest assured, their threats won't stop me. All right. Well, it has been a scrambly right. set. This, this is our final set of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what? What an anti air! Excuse me. Yeah, calling out the shenanigans. The chameleon sponsors Shenan's with the up stabby stab. 
The shankity shank shank. Shankity shank shank actually covers half of Baraka's toolkit. What an up block! We get the punish. We can Nuji the having to blow their cash, blow their wand, Rinsley's and then just walking straight into it. Thank you for the gifted subage, uh, DT Baggins. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Only the Twitch chat can know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the donkey kick okay, action to not the back of the We thought the crazy is coming from Rinsler first. Is now Nuji the one who is gonna able to rob him? And there it is, by the yeah, there it is, yeah. One last break. <laughs> Why'd you have to call it out like that, Rip? <laughs> Why'd you have to make it happen? <laughs> okay. My bad. Able to secure Round it is Rinsler, but it was looking right. shaky. It was looking dangerous ground speaking of on dangerous ground that ball roll was on very dangerous and dodgy ground no cameo to back you up just went for the raw dog rando calrissian mid-screen look at the 70 percent health deficit it's monkey pox sale ladies and gentlemen and i think that's it that's Rinsler. it no breaker right now, in time away with the game it was it was looking all Nuji, and now it's coming up. Rinsler. Yes, the, the momentum is switching left and right all the times in these sets today. Let's see if Nuji can adapt and bring us to a game five in this last match of the night. Yeah, can we get it? Can we get it? Rinsler's got their clutch pads on. What you got, Nuji? What are you wearing? Wait, that sounds odd. <laughs> I'm not asking Nuji what he's wearing. I'm asking... Okay, uh, let's just forget I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and Elbra, in the chat, thank you so much for the tier of one subscription three months in advance. Thank you for the support, everyone. Wait, how do you pronounce that? I just said Elbra. 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 I like it. The, the, it's the, uh, the combination of two cultures right there. They call me Elbra. Oh, the overhead shankage. Sending them to the corner. Anti-air was not there for Nuji. But we do block the overhead heel kickery. Right, he's in. His people need it. Are we going to set the foundations for a game five? It's looking that way. But Nuji is fighting. Has, yeah, Nuji has lost the corner out of it. Got got the round, but lost the corner. Double down ones in MK1, Rip. On block. Feels That's like not meant to, to be MK a team. <laughs> I, I guess with Melina's slower down one, um, because of her extended range with the side, it, it's a bit more in your favor to do it. Right, gorgeous the grab. Grab game on. Side switch. And of course, we're still going. That's Nuji in a nutshell. It's my great uncle Omar Rip. Omar, days. Are we going for a game five? Oh, the ghetto schmix up with the Molina. Gonna get called out. Are we gonna break this? No, we're not. I agree. You're a round up. Hold on to your cash. Uh, this is, but this is going to top 50, surely. 49%. percent 48.845%. Rinsler only has a little bit of work to do. And, and that's was, not going to be it. That was so good from Muri. Great awareness here in neutral. Going for the teleport. Chat, we close the stream out with a game five here. On the menu, Nuji versus Rinsler. One last time. You guys have to go crazy in the chat. Let's get it, chat. And we're even close to a hype train at the same time. Guys, oh, let's, let's close this one out with style. Thank you so much for staying here with us through the entire event. Let's see who's going to make it into the top 16 winners. Is it Nuji or is it Rinsler? All right. All, all nearly 600 of you in the chat. Put those emotes where they matter.
I pray to Delia ever As we get again. ready for the best graphic to ever have graphics. Final match, final set of top 32 here in the finals of final week. And the first interaction going straight to Rinsler. Looking for the Earthworm Shim, trying to set up the throw, but Nuji was there with the Micro Duck. And a big cash out of their own. 42.6%. It's just big numbers on both sides, really. That is true. Every they, single they touch. Catch them in the Jimmy Choos. Is this going to close it out? Not quite, but the chip out will. Two touch gaming from both of our plucky protagonists here in the final game. Both of them have to be super careful because, as you mentioned, oh. Mike, every single touch hurts. Yes, every touch hurts. Like both players are playing with painfully broken fingers. Like they've been asking too many pointed questions about the boss. So many pokes from both. Oh, special this time. Rinsler launching Nuji here. Okay. This is Nuji's last stand. What are they going to do with it? Oh, they're going to walk straight into the conversion, but no spend from Rinsler. Over it. Get down. Going to make you a fan of the funk if nothing else, says Nuji. Oh, tried to get the down two. That would have closed it out. Rinsler gets the tag bug, and Nuji has to be so careful now. Yeah, and Rinsler does have break available. That's why Nuji's going for the throw. Right, Kano balls are out. You love it when the BBC is behind you. And that's Moral it, the projector and that's is it. gonna seal Nuji's faith here. What a showdown that was. GG's. Yeah, GG's both. Rinsler advancing to top 16, winner's side, and Nuji is going to have to descend and fight it out in the shark pit. That is right, chat. And even though I have tears running down my face right now, unfortunately, this was the you last You really... Matter. Yeah, you have to... I told you, don't wear such tight boxer <laughs> shorts, bro. <laughs> Bike and I, we want to say thank you to every single one out there in the crowd who decided to spend this wonderful evening with us watching our grand finale, at least the first part of our finals. You guys know there are so many players competing that we have to split the finale into several days. We're going to be back tomorrow with our Ermac Top 8 special and then the grand finale is going to continue on Wednesday. After the patch settled, you know, the players were able to lap a little bit. It's going to be phenomenal. Hope to see all of you guys again tomorrow for that special event. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the generosity. And of course, a big, big shout out to you, back for the great commentary. Always a pleasure. Never a chore with you, sir. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to send you over to the beautiful Mikasa, one of our arena queens. She is streaming right now. You guys stay safe. Have a wonderful evening. And I'm going to catch you all again tomorrow. Bye bye. We're out.